Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are going to do our white winter grapevine design. So on Sunday we did the white winter pine wreath. Today we're going to do um, it on a grapevine. Okay. So I just have a 14 inch oval. Use whatever size that you have available. And I've taken our white um, magnolias and I've already gotten them glued in. I was letting them go ahead and get set um, right here, sort of about the um, eight, nine o'clock window. And uh, so that's what's going to be kind of the focal. And before we put this on our easel, I want to anchor around our um, magnolias here. So I'm going to go in with the magnolia leaves that I picked off from the stem and we're going to get to those just anchored around our magnolia okay so i'm going to do this here on the table so i'm just going to get a few of these added i'm just going to go right around our magnolia and I'm just going to get these anchored in there. Now this grapevine is not the best. I've already added some moss to it. Um, and I've tied it with my, um, my brown wire. But it still has some pretty good gaps in it. So we just want to be careful. Try not to go all the way through. Um, and if we do, you know, we'll cut them. We'll cut the picks down. Um, after we get done, but I'm going to try to go in at an angle so that I'm not going through the grapevine. Okay, so I'm just going to go all the way around our magnolia and get these added and then I'll put it up on our easel and we will continue. Okay, right, so I have a few of our magnolia leaves um, placed around our magnolias. Before we get it added to the easel, I want to add a few more pieces of greenery um, around our magnolias. So I'm going in with just a few pieces of scrap greenery that I have. Um, they're going to be different textures. That one a little bit of a bend. But I'm just going to go around here and sort of anchor that, sort of like we anchor our bow. I'm just going to go in with a few different pieces of greenery. Okay, let's get another piece. I'm going to go towards our inside here. And again, I'm trying not to go through, all the way through the grapevine. So I'm sort of going at an angle. Okay, that piece is actually in there good, so I'm just going to hit it. Okay, let's get a couple more pieces, and then we will get it added to our stand. Okay, I've got it up on our stand and I've just kind of got it tied on there a little bit. Just to keep it from wiggling around on us. We're just going to finish this off. I'm going to just go in with a couple pieces of the scrap pine I have. Some of our longer pieces. Give that a bend. Push it down in there a little bit more. I'm going to get another piece and go towards the bottom. Again, these are just some of our, some of my scrap pieces. Okay. 
get another one. Now let's start filling in with some of our some of our pine. So I just have some of our um, natural pine. If I would have had more of our flock, we've got more coming. It's not here yet. I thought about waiting on this video until we got it in, but we're just gonna mix it with some of our scrap here and I think it'll still be pretty. Um, but if I would have had a flocked pine, I probably would have used the flocked pine instead of our natural pine. But this will give us some different textures in here. So I think it's still going to turn out beautifully. I think we're just going to do sort of a three quarter. Um, so it'll be just from about here around here. We're going to leave this part potentially somewhat open. If I do decide to leave that part open, I'll probably take out some of that moss that I have in there up underneath and try to get some coming in our the center. Okay, let's get some on our bottom. I'm gonna go right in between these. Just gonna blend those. Let's get one out on our outside perimeter here. This piece, I think we'll put it right in there. We get another piece of pine, and then we're going to go in with our block cypress spray and just sort of bring it all together. It's right in here. Give it a bend. All right, let's start adding in some of our flock cypress. So I've just taken our flock cypress bush and I've just cut it down into little pieces and added a pick on it. And we're just gonna start blending these pieces in here. Now for this design, I did not put a bow on it. Um, you definitely could. If you did not want to use the magnolias, you could put a nice white velvet bow right here and then just use your pine um, and then just make a pine wreath with that white bow and that would be beautiful. It'd be a pretty white winter wreath with just a bow and no florals. That is another option. 
But since we used the magnolias on our pine wreath, I wanted to bring them in on a grapevine just to give you guys an option. If you don't like to use the artificial pine wreaths and you prefer doing grapevines, this is another option with our magnolias. Just going around and sort of blending these in between those other pines we have. Tried to tie that in, but it's not holding. Guess I didn't do a very good job. So it's kind of moving on as it goes. I think we need a piece right in there. a piece of pine right in here. So I'm going to take and cut this one down because I don't need it that long. Okay, I'm going to get another piece Cut it down just a little bit and go up at the top. I'm going to go in with another piece of cypress. Here is our white winter magnolia pine grapevine wreath. I think it turned out beautifully. Super easy, super quick. Um, it's a good staple to have in the shop because you can make multiples of these. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick design. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And we would love to have you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. And you'll be notified every time we have new um, tutorials. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, bye y'all.